These four kitties were all born in March. There are three girl or three boys and one girl, and they're here at Paws, and they're available for adoption now. <laughs> As you can tell, this one here in the front, the calico, that's the female, and she's grown up with three brothers, so she's a pretty rowdy girl. <laughs> Her name is Maya. She likes that scratching post, doesn't she? Her orange and white brother. Right. Where is he? There he is. Hi, buddy. <laughs> there he goes. That's Mario. Look at him up on top of there. And then there are two gray and whites. You can see right there that one's got some bullseyes on the side. And so does the other one. They're almost twins. And uh, one's got a little bit bigger white spot on the back than the other. Those are Maynard and Marvin. So what you have here is four kittens, born on March the 23rd, best we can tell, or right around that day. <laughs> they are super active, as you can see. Very sweet. Right now, at this point in their life, interested in just running and playing most of the time. They get along fine with each other. They really like that purple tube over there. <laughs> Up, and here we've got a, a, a climber. We knew they would find the scratching post. Can't tell which one that is. That's either Maynard or Marvin up there. And there with the pretty colors, just stumped down, Maya. There's another one <laughs> using the scratching post. They're just kind of like a whirling dervish here in this little room. But this just gives you an idea of how active they are. They have all been <clears throat> spayed or neutered. We tested their mom for feline leukemia and FIV and she was negative. And as such, they have not been around anybody else or any other cats since they were born. And uh, so they are all negative for those two viruses as well. They have had two FDRCPC boosters and their annual feline leukemia and rabies vaccinations. Obviously, homes with other cats would be fine with them. Or if somebody wanted to adopt more than one in this litter, that would be great as well. They love toys. Get this ball out there. Oh, I'm going to hit this one too. Aha, uh -huh, check that out. We kept them with their mom until just about oh, two weeks ago, I guess. Um, their mom was out in the ice storm. It got very cold and rainy, and the lady who was feeding her brought her in. And then she proceeded to have four kittens in her home. The mom has been uh, spayed, vaccinated, tested, and returned to her owner. Their mom's name was... Me ow. <laughs> so all the kittens' names begin with M's. That helps us keep all the litters straight. Their mom has gone back to the owner, like I said. Is super sweet there. Um, a real house cat. Uh, loves her daddy. Sits on his chest all the time. So while these kittens' moms came from on the street... Um, she is now somebody's pet. Of course, we don't know who dad was or who the dads were. They're currently all eating Perina cat chow, our favorite food for kittens. They love it. It can be kind of a noisy bunch. <laughs> And 
and they can turn anything into a toy. Again, this one here, the calico is Maya or Maya. The orange one is Mario. The two gray and white ones are Mater and Marvin. If you're interested in adopting any of these four, you can fill out an application online. The link to that application is on our website at pause, okay, that's P A W S O K at, I'm sorry, <laughs> got confused there. Pauseok.com is our website. Obviously, a tall stretching post would be best. Our adoption procedure is that you fill out an application online. It comes to us. We usually have it for anywhere from two to six days while we check out everything on the application. And then if everything checks out, we will call you for an interview that lasts for about an hour. During that interview, we go over the history of the cats, all of their vaccination records, and also our contract. We also answer any questions that you have and explain the, um, the adoption packet to you and um, your sources of information, is <laughs> um, etc. Um, then, if everything goes well, we arrange for a one-on-one -on -one meeting with the cat or cats that you're interested in, um, usually at the PetSmart off on Northwest Expressway and Rockwell. That's a big jump. There they go. Okay, they're tiring me out. I gotta go. <laughs> if you're interested, this is these are the M litter, and they're with Pet Adoption and Welfare Services of Oklahoma, or Paws OK for short. We're located here in Oklahoma City. We are a nonprofit private rescue who takes the majority of their animals, or the majority of their cats, because that's what we do the most of, from private citizens. And we are a 501c3 registered with the state. Thank you. Have a great day.